my over 5,000 subscribers. Blah, that's amazing. I've been needing to make this video, and with proper microphone technology, uh, I've tried three times already. Uh, I'm starting to think the webcam is evil. But I want to announce that I have surpassed the 5,000 subscribers limit. Woo! Crazy when I thought back in the day, maybe a thousand, maybe a thousand people would watch and we'd talk about Pokemon, but this has expanded far greater than what I thought it would originally be. I mean, this channel started out as just a review channel for mine and Ryan Church's podcast, Nintendo Radio. This is where we housed the reviews, but now it's turned into a full LP channel. So to celebrate the occasion, and also to kind of cross-reference an LP I'm doing right now, Bit Trip Runner 2, future rhythm of, or future legend of the rhythm alien, uh, I will be giving away one copy of Bit Trip Runner, the original, on Steam, if you guys can do this. Comment below whoever the first one to do it is, the winner of this, and it's not comment below first, it's an actual answer I need here. In the first Bit Trip Runner, uh, I actually talked to Alex on one of my past interviews about this, it's hard to find a game over screen. That was one of the points that they changed, and they thought personally made the game more enjoyable compared to their other games where it would flash the game over screen. So it's hard to find a game over screen in Runner, uh, you know, just continuously running, 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 getting sent back to the start, and running makes people stay more involved, thinking, oh, I got it on this turn, I, I really got it, I got the patterns memorized, I'm going to keep going. And, you know, now we got checkpoints in Runner 2, so it's even better. But from, one or, bleh, from Runner 1, where was the game over screen? It was in there, there was a spot you could see it, but where was that section? What world and what level? First one to comment below gets the game on Steam. And if you don't have Steam, all you need is a PC, which I guess you have because you're watching me on some sort of PC, unless it's a library or a friend's PC, then I understand, or a smartphone for that matter. Jeez, you could watch YouTube anywhere these days. It's crazy. Next, they'll have YouTube you could see on the inside of your eyelids. It's coming, just as the next thousand mark subscriber block will be coming because uh, aside from giving away a copy of Bit Trip Runner and this is really uh, meant to reward the fans who watch all my videos and comment all the time frequently and if you don't know where that game over screen is here's a hint Google go but um, lots more coming to this channel I have been recording like a madman you guys just don't even know all the things that have been in the works the editing going on yes Coliseum the hundred percent walkthrough is coming back I was just getting the other shadow pokes that I had missed or killed in the first run of the game so I'm working on the hundred percent for that and that'll be coming back soon but we're also gonna be starting a certain trilogy on this channel and I'm not sure if it's gonna happen in the summer or sooner Probably in summer because there's also other Wii games that me and Vlad will be playing. We're going to be switching it up. Vlad's going to be doing a super hella violent game because he's doing a kind of innocent Super Mario Sunshine LP as of now. And I'm going to switch up from the mad shooter that is Sin and Punishment Star Successor to something more kid friendly and uh, accessible to everyone. But it's not a immature game. It's not a game you wouldn't want to play. It just utilizes more colors than red and black and white and things like that and gray. So thank you everyone who has subscribed to this channel. You have given me the lifeblood to continue on thanks to full screen for further promoting me through Planet Poke. I've done a really bunch of cool series and things on there that you can check out if you don't know my channel that well. And uh, let's see who is the first to comment. Is it you?